Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the tax forms that we use, the 433 and the 656 that were actually filed to get a $30,000 of tax debt settled for about $7,000. So stay tuned as we go through the details. If you're looking for some professional help with your case, please use the link in the description below to schedule an appointment with us where we'll go over your particular case and see if you even qualify for the offer and or what your options are. All right, so here's the actual 433 that we filed to get the $30,000 settled for seven. This is more of a basic case, I would say. So the client is single, does not own a home, doesn't really have much in assets and is employed. Uh, so this was rather easy. This offer did actually go through really quickly here in terms of the IRS timeline. I think it took about like eight or nine months for everything to go through. Uh, so we'll go through this thing kind of line by line, but to start out, you know, kind of just have the basics here, name, date of birth, social address, uh, taxpayer is a renter here, not married, uh, where they live, no dependents, is employed, looks like we did not fill out the actual employer's name, uh, but we did include the pay stubs when we filed this, so you'll see that here in a second, uh, but the occupation, the assets here, checking account, savings account, had some money in that, right? Uh, there's the total, there's the those two together, right? $3,000 minus that $1,000 exemption here. That's what 2,700 bucks is right there. Also have a, a 401k looks like here, not much in there, right? So that 600 plus that 27 is what we're gonna see down low here because there's no other assets. Um, sorry, actually it does have a car. Looks like it's an older car here. We got the market value from Kelly Blue Book. Use the 80% minus the loan balance. So taxpayer owes a little bit more than what this car's worth. So net net assets here is, is nothing for this, for the offer here. So basically we just have that 401k plus what's in the checking and savings minus that thousand dollars. That's what that uh, 3,300 bucks is right here. Taxpayer is not self-employed, no business assets, no, no business at all to speak of here. So we just keep on going. Monthly household income. This is taxpayer's income from pay stubs. So directly from the pay stubs, all right? There it is, that's gross. And some expenses. So this is where I would say the offer, the rubber meets the road is getting all these expenses correct. Uh, some of these do come directly from the IRS's website and we'll go through that right here. Uh, so the food and clothing, this one you want to get from the IRS's website and I'll show you that here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, I'll give you a link to this um, in the description, but uh, we just go straight here. National standards, food, clothing, right? You'll see that directly on the 433, right? The food, clothing, miscellaneous, right? So we, you look at this here. Click on that link, give us a national standards and we take it. So 723 is what it is now. This offer was done a few years ago. So that's why it has changed. These uh, standards do change every year uh, due to like inflationary changes, I guess. Uh, the IRS will do that. Um, so anyways, we use the 647, which is what we got for that year. Housing utilities is the taxpayer pays for the house plus utilities. And you'll see that here, right? Again, from the website the IRS uses to compute. So California, it was Orange County here for one Orange County. Where did that go? right there, right? That's the current one, but prior was a little bit less. So that's what we took here on the 433. Now this one's actually a little different. On this line, you can actually use what they have on the website from the IRS's website, and you don't actually have to really prove that, but the rent and utilities, you do have to prove with your bank statement. So you either use the lesser of the actual standard or what you actually pay. So if you pay less than the standard, you gotta use what you actually pay, and it's gotta be provable on the bank statements. Vehicle loan or lease payment that we got straight from, let's see here, I think it's from the IRS's website. Now this again, you have to be able to prove this one, 
but they do have a limit to the amount that you can use. So let's see here, ownership costs, 533. So the taxpayer pay a lot less than what the actual standard was. But again, you have to use the lesser in, in, these, in this example here for the vehicle payment. You have to use the lesser of what you actually pay or what the limit is on the IRS's website. Operating costs, that one you use directly from the website. So you don't have to be able to prove gas, insurance, maintenance, things like that. No, you can just use what the IRS has on their website. And that is based on where you live, right? Operating costs, one car. We are in the Western, uh, what is it, LA right there, 313. So obviously, again, these standards went up since we filed, but nonetheless, that's what we took there. There's no public transportation if you have a car, so we do zero there. Health insurance, we have to be able to prove that. There's no standard for that. That's directly off of either the pay stubs or your bank statements. Um, Out-of-pocket healthcare costs, you take that directly from the IRS's website, again, and they give you kind of a standard on this, but you'll see, right, it did go up again, as most of these have, right? Out-of-pocket healthcare standards for one under 65, it's 68 bucks now. And here we got the 52. Um, let's see here, what else do we get? Current monthly taxes, this is directly off the pay stubs. Social Security, Medicare, Fed, and state taxes that we're paying on a monthly basis. Um, what else do we have? Secured debt, uh, there is, Student loans, she's paying. And we have a, an installment agreement with the state. So we're also using that as well. So we have our income up here, 5,800. Total of expenses, 5,500. The leftover is 320. So now we go ahead and fill out our offer, right? 320 is what we have in income here. We, I normally recommend that we do the, uh, what we call the lump sum uh, offer here because it, it will you'll see right we have the either the 12 uh, 12 factor or the 24 factor obviously if 12 is a lot less than 24 so it'll be a let uh, a smaller offer if we use this lump sum so you do the 320 which is what we call disposable income income after your living expenses right the 320 that we got from up here times 12 3800 dollars so we'll do the 3800 dollars plus our assets, 33.74, right? And that's what that 72.14 is. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward. Fill these guys out, sign it. Good student loans is what we put on here. Um, and then we felt, once you fill out the 433, then you can fill out the 656. Pretty straightforward though. Name, address, social. What year are you settling your taxes here? Uh, what else did we do? We didn't fill out anything. She doesn't have a business. Data to collectability is the reason for the offer. And there's our offer, 7214, right? That matches what we have here on the 433, 7214. We paid a 20% down when we filed the offer. So that's what's left over. And that's going to be paid over the next five months once the offer gets accepted. So that takes time, right? You don't have to pay that right away. But the $1,400 did have to go as a check with this offer here. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? We're gonna file the, or, you know, if the offer doesn't get accepted, apply that $1,400 to 2016 uh, taxes is what this is saying. Since there's not much in assets from the taxpayer, how is the taxpayer going to be able to pay the remaining balance of the offer? We say a family loan. Um, and that's really it. Pretty straightforward. And we f sign it and send it off. Uh, in addition, this is what we sent over with the offer. So, right, we sent over, let's take a look at this, the 433, the 656 a check for 20%, like we went over, a check for the actual application of the offer, so you have to send both of those, three months of bank statements, we did a screenshot of the Kelly Blue Book for the valuation of the car, the 401k statement showing the what that 401k is worth, student loans, we still have student loans, uh, state installment agreement notice showing that, hey, we are on an installment agreement with the state, this is from the state, look, hey, we, do, we are paying that, um, and three pay stubs prior to this offer. That's what we sent over with the offer. Now, once we sent over the offer, the IRS came back. This was pretty quick. Um, so this is what happened here. The IRS came back. They sent over 
number one, hey, we did receive, look at, we received your offer and compromise. You will be contacted soon, is really what that's saying. Okay, so that's the, uh, the notice that we got once we sent that through. And then the IRS came back once I, we did speak with the IRS, they requested that we send over um, a divorce decree because the, uh, the taxpayers were actually previously married prior to this offer. So I had to send over the divorce decree. The IRS was really looking like, hey, when we divorced, were there any assets that were split? Was there any alimony that had to be paid? The divorce decree did show that none of that had happened. So what was on the 433 was actually correct. And uh, after that, the IRS said, okay, we, we accept the offer. So there was no changes to this offer. We then got uh, this lovely notice saying that we got it accepted, right? This is pretty cool. And that was really it. So they applied that, uh, that 1400 bucks, that 20% down, and then you know the, the balance had to be paid after that. And then we got this lovely notice saying that, hey, once the taxpayer made that final payment to satisfy that 7K of the offer, you get this one saying you, you made the payment provision. So there it is. All in all, this offer took about nine months from the time we filed the offer to the time it got accepted. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with any anyone you think it might help. Thanks so much, guys.